Howdy tubers, welcome back to the Zach Lives. So this is this is February the 4th, Friday. This is the morning after we shut the last video down. The camera hadn't moved, everything's exactly the same. Just plugged a different memory card into it and uh, we're off to the races. So the last video, I wanted to get the flooring done and, and I didn't I didn't get to, I, it kind of explained the last video, uh, but the, the glue seems pretty well set up, the construction adhesive on this stuff, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna to try to have this thing ready to go somewhere. Now, I'm not gonna take off and go on a vacation with it, but I'd like to drive it somewhere, spend the night in it, take it up in a toilet, you know, just kind of break it in and, and try everything out, make sure everything works, uh, and then and bring it back. I've got some few mechanical things left to do. I'm not for sure that I'm gonna get, get that deadline met, uh, but I'm going to try, that's kind of my goal. Um, you got the ice fall off this thing. So we got a bunch of snow. We got a bunch of ice and then we got a layer of snow on top of it. I don't know if you can see the snow on my house and my suburban there. And uh, let me just say, if you work in oil field, snow sucks. That's all, that's all there is to say about that. Flooring, baseboards, cabinet doors, a few vents. I've been working on the bathroom. I hadn't showed much of it. I don't remember exactly what it looked like the last time y'all saw it. Uh, it's about finished. I got some trim left to paint it and just a few things. It's hard to video on there. You're kind of seeing everything else as I'm doing it everywhere else. All right, so I went ahead and stuck down this piece and this piece. I got this part done <clears throat> pretty straightforward. I'm gonna start working on this. I'm worried about this. I don't know how well this is going to go. So there's going to be a piece, I think they call it stair nose or something. There's a piece of trim that'll go along here to make up this, uh, this junction. I'm not sure about this one. I got to put a piece here. <clears throat> That's, I suppose, something I can do later. I'm worried about this sticking. I've got construction adhesive. I'm going to use a lot of this. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. But anyway, I'm going to quit talking and I'm just going to do it. I bought a whole bunch of this when I started it, this motorhome project. In fact, this is actually two years old. It's left over from when I put the plywood down. Uh, initially to the to the frame and I'm glad I bought a bunch of it because you can't buy it now it's one of those back ordered um, COVID things whatever All right, I can get my heat back running now. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna leave this little black vent thing. It fits the hose and everything, and I'm just gonna get a white, like a dryer vent or something that'll go over that and just screw it right over it. I think it'll work well. All right, so I got the flooring completely finished. I got the step all glued up. I've got the, I got the flooring put in, the little, I don't know, the step coming in the door there, whatever you call it, and I got it put underneath the sink in the bathroom. Uh, it, I got it all done late last night. I actually had a neighbor. So I was out here till about 12.30 or 1, something like that. It's pretty late. And I went in and laid down. And just about the time I dozed off, I woke up and I thought my house was on fire. I just, my house was full of smoke. I live in an old junky house. The windows are, you know, original, probably to the 50s. They leak real bad. Anyway, uh, there was a house across the road caught on fire. I was listening to the police scanner. Apparently it was the wife's. Uh, ex-husband, I think, is my understanding. It's kind of hard to hear, you know, to hear all the chatter. Anyway, went over there and set it off. And uh, anyway, I jumped up and ran outside the flashlight. I was looking, you could just see the flames. It's a, kind of a bad deal. I hate it for them. So, local gossip update. Uh, apparently, it was the current husband, and they were separated or had a fight or something. He was drunk. It's 2.33 in the morning. He drove his pickup through the wall of the house, like into the living room or something. And then took gasoline and poured all through the house and set the house on fire. My understanding is the wife and kids were at home. They all got out fine. And uh, and then he didn't have a pickup because he burned his pickup up and he took off running down the highway. The cops picked him up on the highway. Anyway, he's going to spend a long time in jail for being stupid, as, as he should. But anyway, um, I don't know why I got off on that tangent. I got the floor all done. Uh, 
late last night. If the glue's pretty well set up today, that construction adhesive seems like 24 hours is pretty minimum. Anyway, I'm going to start working on the drawers. I, I, I like these. I've got some self-closing. So, they're soft. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me rethink this. They're soft shut, but they're spring-loaded closing. So when you close them, they, they've got a little catch that catches, and, they, and they've got pretty heavy-duty springs that pulls them shut. If you pull them out an inch or so, they, um, they pull themselves back shut. That's great in a motorhome because uh, they won't come open. So I made a significant design error and uh, I didn't video this, I got it all done. So I got this drawer put in, it works good, it's got the, the easy close hinges or whatever that holds it shut well. <clears throat> I obviously made two of these drawers, there's supposed to be two drawers there. Uh, the drawer closer to me hit the big junction box just sort of barely uh, if it had if it had door slides under it, it would uh, it would it would work. If you kind of got in there cockeyed, it was just right up against that big junction box. Anyway, to put the the, the drawer slide on the side of it, just uh, it just wouldn't work. And so ultimately, all I did was took the drawer face and made a cabinet door out of it. <clears throat> and so now there's a cabinet door here. Uh, you know, you can look in here and see all the electronics and stuff, which. To be honest, I think I kind of like. I, I don't know that that big drawer is necessary. I don't really know what I'm going to put in those anyway. Uh, it was just a good spot to put a couple of drawers and that's, that's why they ended up there. So I've cut a hole here. This wall is hollow and I'm going to put a vent there and that should help vent the heat out of the cabinet down here where the inverter and the, and the battery chargers are. So I'm going to jump back to the drawers up here. Uh, the next drawer, I've got the, the inner slide part put on like you saw me do on the, on the drawer back there. Same kind of deal. But I want to show you how I did this. I kind, of, I kind of showed you in the last video, I've made a little bit of an update I like better. I've taken a piece of scrap wood of one by and put two screws in it. Uh, cut it off so that it fits perfectly. Show you in just a second and drill a pocket hole in it where I put a screw in it. All right, I got my holes pre-drilled. Uh, for the screw that goes in the front of these. So I know you can't see what I'm going to do, but I'm going to take a speed square against the wall and just check and get these in about the right place. So I'm just, I'm just going to take and run a couple of uh, screws through my pocket holes into the back wall. So next, I'm going to lay out the holes for the drawer handle and the face frame. For some reason these two doors have warped I'm gonna have to uh, I may try to bungee cord them shut or something kind of flex them back the other way see if they'll take a different shape so anyway now I'm gonna lay this up here I'm just going to eyeball it line it up with my cabinets there's no use in measuring anything I'm going to use it as a template All right, I'm going to go ahead and in the center of the back of this, I'm going to start a couple of screws.
All right, so I got these snugged up. They're, they're, they're not tight. So let's take and get this exactly back where we wanted it. It gives you room to move it up or down or twist it. And these will hold it if they're snug. So we got it where we want it. We'll go ahead and put these screws here. To that I kind of wanted to wanted to review on the floor. I like the floor. It seems to be pretty hardy. Uh, time will certainly tell. My, my complaint is, is it's sort of brittle. Uh, the part that snaps together will actually break if you're not careful. I didn't do an ultra clean job of getting this in the corners and the ultra tight and everything. And the reason is because I'm putting baseboard trim everywhere. Uh, but I'm fixing to start that. Just do a lot of time lapse. Probably show you a few shots of it. Uh, we've done a lot. You've seen me do a lot of it. Um, I got to put the stair nose on all the stair nose places it's needed, uh, and I'll go over that when we get there. But I guess uh, I guess let's get after it. So I think I've jumped the gun a little bit. I've, I've ordered all my wallpaper. Uh, of course, there's a lot more than this, uh, but I got the wallpaper in. I actually went and bought my refrigerator. I had to go to, to Home Depot, and I had seen one I wanted. I went ahead and picked it up. I got it in here. I should have left it outside, it's in the way, and I know this is stupid. But anyway, what I'm fixing to do is we're gonna start in this corner that's over here. I had I caulked the, the back corner seam and the ceiling a few hours ago. I want to take some sandpaper, clean it up, make sure it's smooth, there's no, no imperfections. Oh, and I've got two pieces of trim made and painted. I'm gonna put the wallpaper up, uh, put the trim in that corner, get the refrigerator cram in there, and then uh, maybe uh, maybe if I can see if I can get some way to mount it. And then I'm gonna start working on the wallpaper. Uh, I gotta build a table over there, and I got a whole bunch more trim to do. I've got a little bit of a paint run uh, on the wall from where I sprayed the trim. It's about right there. I'm going to hit that with a sander, knock it down, and I'm just gonna go over this. It's not got chunks on it, but the plywood is just a little bit rough. I'm just gonna knock it back down nice and smooth. <laughs> chosen it's a little bit darker than what I liked I'm, I'm kind of still up in the air about it but I've got it I paid a lot of money for a whole bunch of it and <laughs> so it's what I'm going to use I don't know anything about this I've never done it and I don't claim to be any good at it here's the glue I've got I hope this glue will work uh, the instructions basically just say use some room temperatures above 50 degrees apply a thin even coat of adhesive with a pasting machine and avoid contact with a surface of embossed texture to delicate wall coverings. So, my interpretation is, is I'm going to get a paint roller and, uh, and get after it. So I'm going to make a mark for roughly, a couple of marks, for roughly how wide the uh, paper is going to be. This one there. So that sort of give me an idea of how wide to put the paste on. So all the videos I've watched on the internet, people pasted the wallpaper, not the wall. It looks to me like it'd be less of a mess and easier to do by putting it on the wall and then putting the paper up there. Um, I may be fixing to learn a lesson, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. This stuff looks just about like Elmer school glue. Most of the stuff I saw on the internet, people talk about diluting it, but this doesn't say anything about this, so I guess you're not supposed to.
I actually hired a temporary shop monkey. He's been doing a bunch of stuff for me, and I'm having to kind of help him, keep him lined up, keep him to work on this stuff, uh, which is a good thing because I'm getting some stuff done. I've made some progress. I really don't remember the last place I recorded. I put up some more wallpaper, obviously, and I have gotten the um, the refrigerator installed, and I don't know how much of that I showed you. I want to grab you with a GoPro, and let's go take a look at it. So I got the refrigerator stuck in here. This is a plain old cheap, I'll say cheap, it's 500 bucks I think, uh, refrigerator. And I have made some improvements to it. I've got to get a screw to screw this back down. I made a little, just a little dinky bracket. There's nothing special at all. Attach that to the wall and this keeps it from being able to go this way or this way. And then I made a couple of small brackets down here. I've got to get a, uh, I want to get a, a screw like this one to put here this one screw kind of looks dumb but I made some little brackets to bolt it to the floor and the weight of it is actually sitting on those feet there's nothing sitting uh, on the rest of the body it's this bracket actually goes down kind of back and under and it's pretty and it's pretty heavy duty the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this butcher block uh, countertop or, or, or breakfast nook or whatever <clears throat> I kind of explained what my idea behind this was. Originally, I thought about making legs on it, making it removable. The more I thought about it, I don't think it's going to be a problem, and I'm just going to permanently mount it. I've got these little uh, shelf brackets, I guess is what you call them. Uh, I hope these are strong enough. They're pretty, they're pretty heavy duty looking. I think they'll probably work. Um, but I'd like to use this, be able to use this place. I like to pull a couple of chairs up, use it to actually eat on. Uh, I've got two different circuits run here where you can actually cook on it, you know, plug a hot plate in, whatever. We'll go over all my cooking stuff later. I've ordered a bunch of stuff. I'm going to have an unboxing. <laughs> but anyway, um, i got a stud here. i got a stud here. Uh, 15 and 2 thirds inches over. There'll be another stud. I'm going to measure up on the floor 34 inches and make a mark, and that's where this top screw will go. Uh, and we should be able to get all these lined up. I'm going to... Quit talking, hit the fast forward button, and let's do it. You know this butcher block. I kind of said before. I don't know how 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 well I emphasized it, but I really didn't like this. I thought this butcher block was going to be a uh, kind of a temporary solution to the lack of my ability to get a hold of of the granite that I wanted. But truthfully, yeah, I really like this stuff. I, I'm quite pleased with it. Next thing, I've got this stair nose finally came in. Luckily this video took three weeks to get out because this was two and a half weeks late. Uh, how this works, so I was quite misinformed about this. Uh, I ordered this from Lowe's when I got the rest of, of the flooring and it took, it was supposed to be here in like three days and it took three weeks. Anyway, I asked the guy, I said, well, what do I need to do to the flooring? Do you run it to the end? You know, how do you, how do you set it up to take this? And he says, oh yeah, you just bring it to the point. This is actually glues down. Well, it doesn't. It goes on this little metal rail, kind of like the uh, transition did in the back. Anyway, so what I've got to do is I've got to trim about an inch or something I'll measure of the floor off uh, to, to put this little metal strip down 
and then the stair nose thing pops down into the uh, in, in, into this into this metal thing, little rail. So that's what I'm going to do. For measuring the stair nose, the floor needs to be cut back about an inch and a quarter, uh, plus or minus maybe even up to a quarter. It doesn't look like a super super um, precise cut. And what I hope I can do here without screwing this up is I've got my saw set to about to about an eighth of an inch depth of cut. And I'm hoping that I can start this thing here and just go off a line here about an inch and a quarter. Now I may be fixing to screw up, but I'm gonna try to take and just score this with a razor blade. Now I'm hoping I can just take a chisel and kind of break this. It's pretty brittle. So it looks like this needs to be between about a half and nine sixteenths off of this face, uh, from this lip to this lip. Alright, so this thing is supposed pop in here. What do you think? Alright, so I've got a little tangent here I need to finish up. I've got another light that's supposed to go back here. There actually is it's supposed to be two more lights. There was one uh, right here somewhere kind of by the air conditioner and there's one back here. If you've got either the bedroom or the bathroom door open light on, it's not bad back there, but with both of them shut, it's kind of dark, it's kind of hard to see in the cabinets. What do you say about right there? Now, I know there was some concern several people were kind of worried about they said you know it's pretty dumb put a plug up in the ceiling and I realize that's true in most situations but the way these are they just snap in if by chance this comes unplugged the only thing you've got to do is unpull the light out is pull the light out of the ceiling reach back up there and plug it back in So this is one o'clock in the morning, Thursday night or Friday morning, I guess. And I'm completely out of time to get y'all the video out. I have got to, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna edit this thing tomorrow and upload it Friday night. And hopefully get it up for you Saturday. I got, for the most part, everything done I wanted to in this video. There's a lot of things that aren't finished, but I feel like that, that they're things that'll sort of be done in their own time. Uh, they're not things I'm gonna to try to push. Um, I think I'll jump on the GoPro. It gives such a wider angle. I'll walk you around and kind of show you where we're at. I really wanted to get this place cleaned up. I will need about one more day to get done what I wanted to in this video. Uh, but, but that's all right. That's where we're at. So I think the last little segment, we had this baseboard down, but I got the baseboard that runs around the cabinet. 
I just finished putting the end of this cabinet on. Uh, it's It's got one coat of paint on it. I still got the paint out. As soon as I get done here, I'm going to slap another coat on it. It'll be done. Um, all the cabinets here are finished other than the doorknobs. I got to put the little the doorknobs and little latches. For some reason, these two doors kind of warped. Uh, that shouldn't be a big deal. I think, if, I think if I put a latch, it pulls them shut there. Uh, give them a few months and they'll be and they'll be good as gold. I got this end of the cabinet put on and trim runs around there. Got paint slapped on it. Uh, the baseboard trim that runs around here, got that done. So for the for the most part, I got most of what I wanted to do done. It's it's to the point that was that was my predetermined finish line. Obviously, there's stuff left to do. You look back in here, it looks really good, uh, but you get up close. There's a lot of places need touched up. There's paint runs. Uh, there's nothing drastic, but there's a lot of little things that need to be done to make it look really good. Uh, there's a bunch of caulking needs done. Uh, the whole ceiling. All needs to be caulked. Um, you know, you can see like there's a gap right there. You know, there's several several places you can see a gap. Uh, the whole baseboards need done. Uh, we're missing a piece of trim that'll go right there. And then we're missing a corner trim that'll go right there. All of this stuff is going to wait because if you remember, the convection microwave is going to be right here and this cabinet is going to come out and sort of back in and around and then back along here and then there'll be a cabinet that comes down probably about the bottom windows or something there. That is something to me that's not necessary to use it and it's going to be something that I do uh, in my free time. It's not something I'm pushing to get done uh, like I've been pushing everything else. I'd like to take you back here and show you the bathroom. The bathroom is finished. So I got the bathroom done um, other than needing cleaning up and I need to put a a shower door. I can just use a shower curtain for the time being. I know that's not going to be a great deal for here, uh, but everything's dirty. Everything needs cleaned up. Uh, there's a few places of paint needs touched up, like I got white on the wall there and stuff like that. Uh, it's got a lot of touch-up work, but it's 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 quote unquote finished. I got my little cabinet with a couple of towels. I got a Target. Um, I don't really remember exactly what this looked like the last time y'all saw it. But I got the stair nose on the on the wood there and the trim and I think all this is caulked everywhere. I went ahead and put the uh, the flooring in the bottom of the cabinet there. Of course the sink works. I got the um, I got a little soap dispenser I really really kind of likes pretty neat. I got me a little electric heater. I plan on running a small electric heater or this one specifically in here when it's cold uh, to get the temperature of the bathroom up a little bit more. One of my stupid little light bulbs already burned out. Uh, but all this came out pretty well. I got my toilet paper cabinet. Anyway, for the lack of a better term, I guess, uh, I'm calling the inside of this thing done for now. Now, like I said, I've got some caulking to do. Obviously, the, the wallpaper's got to make a full lap around here. Um, the baseboard that's behind you and on the, on the sides here, uh, I'm not going to put them down until the wallpaper's done, but they're literally one, two, three pieces, you know, and it'll be finished. Um, I just plan on probably taking a little bit of tools with me when we go somewhere in this thing. Uh, you know, like a couple tubes of caulk and, you know, some paper towels, because there's hours of caulking to do. Uh, and that's something that's, that's easy and can be done in the evening when I board. Uh, obviously, I'm still going to work on it, uh, but I'm just probably not gonna really make a video about about every little detail of finishing it up sort of like I've been doing uh, because you've seen it all. It's sort of all all done. It's just not completed, I guess. Maybe maybe it's what I'm getting at. Um, you know, there's dust and everything. It's going to have to have a thorough cleaning. Um, you know, I'm going to change out all, all the plug-ins that I put in here, you know, before I actually, before I spray foamed it. I managed to all get spray foam on them even though we tried to tape them off. I got to change out all those. Um, the only thing that I might show, I gotta put a backsplash on on these. I don't I had decided on this table. I'm definitely gonna put a backsplash here. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as back here. Like I said, we're gonna have a cabinet that sort of sticks out. It's gonna be kind of funny looking here. Uh, and it comes in and have a have a shallow you know cabinet that's about this deep here. It comes to you know, whatever height. Uh, a couple cabinets run along here and then a 
you know, a wide, sort of wide cabinet up and down here. It probably ends roughly in here. But anyway, I'm going to show all this, obviously, building that. But that's not something that's going to limit my ability to use this. And I've decided that where we're at, as I said, is my finish line. Here, here we are. We'll just uh, nitpick this stuff away as we get it. And uh, probably what I'm going to do, uh, I'm probably going to take this on a shakedown run. i got some friends that live out of state. I think I may drive it up there and spend a few days uh, in, in, a, in a few weeks. And I may, I may set up and try to build the cabinets up there, whatever. i got a few mechanical things left to do this. There's not many things. I really don't think I'm going to show any of it. I've got to plumb in the air lines that go back to the to the glad hands for the trailer brakes, the air pneumatic trailer brakes. I've got to put some more bolts in the in the aluminum bumper. I've got to, I've got to type a fuel line that goes to the uh, the diesel heater. I guess that's it. There's not much more to do. Um, anyway, I don't know if I'll show much of that, but hopefully I want to get this thing all cleaned up this weekend, be done with it, and then next weekend we can. Uh, Maybe have a, uh, I don't know. I, I, I got to buy a bunch of stuff. I got to buy a bunch of pots and pans and silverware and cooking equipment. I got to, I got to make a home out of it. That may be what the next video about. We'll call it RV, RV to home or something like that. Anyway, I've rattled on long enough. <laughs> Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all the good things, and one way or another, we'll catch you. We'll catch you next time.